Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've been able to record a video, but my voice is almost back to normal and I do have a lot that I wanna share with you. So let's jump right into it. And this video is about my Pandora winter bracelet designs. I have three bracelets that I wanna share with you and I wanna share them from the newest to the oldest. This is my newest bracelet. I think of it as my icy winter bracelet and it does have little touches of Pandora rose on here. So I thought I would share these charms with you. This bracelet is one of Pandora's um, latest of the barrel design. It's, I think it's just called the polished barrel, but it's a little bit slimmer from the traditional bracelet. And then we have the polished snowflake. This one was retired last year in the winter sale. And I kind of hesitated on this one, but I did end up picking up two of these and I did put one on this bracelet. It's just a high shine and I thought it would maybe scratch, but as you can see, it's holding up fairly well uh, next to it. Um, so I'll also give my little tips on designing as we move along here. I don't like to put two charms that are the same texture or shape next to each other. So next to it is the mittens charm. And this one, as you can see, the bale has lots of texture. And then the mittens, of course, are hanging backwards right now. Um, so they have a little pink heart in the center of the mittens. And the chain just kind of runs through so that it has a lot of movement to it. And then we come to the first Murano. This, these are the new winter blue snowflake Muranos. And just a gorgeous Murano, highly recommend them. You've seen them before and they are a really nice icy shade. Um, a little touch of Pandora Rose. I needed to balance the Pandora Rose in the center of the bracelet by adding a little bits on the other sides. So I used a spacer for this purpose. I love Pandora spacers. They work really well for these type of situations when you just need to add a little something but you don't want it to be a whole charm. And this is a retired spacer, I believe it's called the bead spacer. It has that little bit of a pave ball to it. And then it's just kind of like smooth beads going around. And then we come to another new charm from this year's winter collection. It's called the Icy Snowflake Drop. And as you can see, you've got three snowflakes in three different patterns. Like that to me is an amazing detail about this charm. Another nice feature of this charm is the snowflake cutouts. And then another nice feature is the back has the exact same shade of CZ. And I think it's such a beautiful charm. Highly recommend this one if you love the snowflake theme. And then we come to an ice skate. So Pandora's long retired this ice skate. Look at the bail, it repeats a snowflake pattern. You've got the lace kind of tied up. You've got the Pandora symbol on the side of the skate. Um, this one here is a clip that I decided to use. It's just a retired star clip and it uses some nice oxidized background to make those CZ stand out. And then here is another retired charm. And this one's called the Shimmering Snowflake Dangle. And I thought that little touch of a light blue in the center here tied in really well with the Muranos and that other snowflake. And of course, in the pattern of that ties in really nicely with this new snowflake design. I have my fingers crossed that Pandora is going to release this charm in silver next year. Sometimes they do mixed metals and they'll repeat a pattern or they'll repeat a charm rather um, the following year. And this one is a beautiful one. It's so delicate looking and just, I don't know, this one to me is one of my favorites from this collection. I have a lot of favorites. Pandora did outstanding this year with their winter collection. So again, this one is called the Festive Snowflake, and it's a really nice contrast to these new Muranos. I just love that combination together, especially with the snowflake pattern on the side there. This next term I was not expecting to purchase. It's a Star and Crescent Moon in Pandora Rose. I didn't buy the silver version of it last year, and uh, last year's winter collection didn't wow me so much, but this one was on my radar. And however, when I purchased this one, I needed another rose charm to kind of balance it out. And I think rose and blue CZs look so pretty together. 
And then if you can see the stars that are dangling, it's the asymmetric star in the center with the big clear CZ, and then you've got blue on either side. Um, there is some engraving. It says dream big with some stars. And then it just repeats at the back, but the CZs are only on one side. This here is my winter snow globe. So this one was missing from my original order and then Pandora did very good customer service for fixing that error and they shipped this out ASAP to me and I received it really fast. So as you can see, it's a snow globe and you've got some glitter in front of that snow. This one's got quite a bit of glitter. Um, I wish it had a little bit less so that I can see that blue CZ shining through a little bit more on the fence about that one so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do about it because i do still think it's really pretty the way it is and then the back has less glitter but it doesn't have the blue cz but i don't know i'm not sure yet what i'm gonna do about that and then you do have an engraving that says one in a million um, to kind of reference the snowflake designs i also wish the bail was just a little bit thicker on this one um, there is a CZ in the center of that snowflake on the bale, but I think it would have stood out a little bit more if it was just a little bit wider. And then the clip here, this one I believe is just called Stars Clip, um, Star and Stars. And then I have a long retired charm. This one is the polar bear. And I don't know, he's just iconic for winter, right? Um, nice thick bale on him and then he does have a little snowflake additional disc dangle on top and then we come to another new charm this year and this is the gingerbread house oh my goodness I love this charm so much that shade of green lollipop against that nice warm gingerbread brown is just perfect I like that they didn't put an inscription on the bottom and I also like the back of this charm, the little candy details, the top with the little red stripe, the candy cane. It's just a wonderfully designed charm. Um, I needed that extra little touch of Pandora rose, so I put it right here next to the gingerbread, another Murano. This one is like, I think one of the hits from the winter collection. It's been sold out with Canada online store. And it's called the Sparkling Snowflake Dangle. And it's a double disc dangle. It says, you are one of a kind in the middle. And I love the back of this one, like that little extra snowflakes. And I think that's really sweet. Um, boring bale though. <laughs> this next term here, I think they were trying to go either celestial or snowflake. I'm not sure what they were going to do with it. Um, they called it the Celestial Snowflake. To me, it's a little bit more celestial, but I really like the open work design of it, the beaded detail. To me, this reminds me of like old school Pandora, just that little beaded detail, because a lot of their stuff that they have now is high shine. And then I just put a pave clip at the end. I don't have a safety chain on this one. Sorry, Ruby. <laughs> but this is the first bracelet design. And let me try it on for you quickly. And then I'll move on to the second one. And this is how the bracelet looks on. So I really like the balance of the Pandora rose right in the center with the Muranos. I do like three Muranos um, if I fall in love with them enough. And then, as you can see, this bracelet's a little bit stiff. It is a newer bracelet, so it's not totally relaxed. It's a 7.5. Once it relaxes, it will drape further down on my hand. And uh, I just enjoy all the dangles on this one. And again, just that icy blues combined with the Pandora rose. I just think it's really, really pretty. The second bracelet I wanna share is inside this green box here. And this one I think of my, as my heart melter bracelet. And as you can tell, right in the center of this bracelet is the little heart melter Murano. Now I put this bracelet together last year and I just kind of threw together some charms kind of randomly. It came together super fast. There's a lot of thought that go into these bracelet designs, but this one came together really fast and it just works for me. There's something about this design. I just, it makes me smile. And I think it, a lot of it has to do with the little heart melter in the center. I know this Murano was not for everybody. Um, it could go summer themed because it's also an ice cube or winter, but there's something about him that, yeah, he just, 
he's adorable. Now this one is on the standard larger barrel and then the first term on here is the Heart of Winter charm. This one is retired. Pandora did a whole series of earrings and necklaces and rings and such a beautiful design of putting that in the center of the heart and it repeats on both sides. Next is Wintry Delight and I've seen this one on Rula La a few times highly recommend it if you're on the fence about adding a blue charm to your collection you've got the polished silver snowflakes against this against this blue enamel that has the sparkle but also a little bit of texture running through it it's not like a flat enamel and then we come to one of the petite facets um, i believe this is are actually a white geometric facet that's what this one is do you see that little touch of blue there at the core. I'm not sure what that's about. And there's another little touch of blue. But I thought the little pop of white against the blue was really pretty. This dangle here, I'm not sure what its proper name is, if it's called Vintage Night Sky, which it used to be, but I think Pandora's now changed its name to the Moon and Blue Sky. Um, you've got the swirly blue enamel and then of course the moon and the stars on top and there is an inscription at the back of this one and it says i love you to the moon and back this murano was released last winter it's the galaxy blue star murano so of course it's still available with pandora i purposely did not clean this bracelet up i wore it yesterday and oh you see right there at the bottom you see the little piece of fuzz that's caught there these Star Muranos do kind of get caught a little bit. Um, I just find that the fabrics of your clothing gets caught in there. I don't ever notice it tugging at my clothing. Just I just see little fuzzies kind of getting attached underneath these stars because some of the stars are a little bit raised up from the glass, as you can see there. And it does kind of snag a little bit of some fuzz there's some hair there probably a dog hair <laughs> but yeah I'm always constantly kind of cleaning up these Muranos a little bit so just something to be aware of it's not a deal breaker for me I still think these are beautiful Muranos with the little bubbles that are running through uh, this is an open work charm that Pandora still has available I believe it's called um, open work sun stars moon it's really detailed and very good value very, very pretty. This is an old clip. It's just a plain clip, and I think that's the name of it, is plain clip. And sometimes when you're designing a bracelet, I like a simpler clip just to make the other charms features stand out a little bit. I kind of like it to be a little bit more in the background. Um, I might find a better clip than this one in the future, but it's the one that I used last winter and I haven't changed it. It's next to this dangle. This is the snowflake dangle. This one is a very delicate old retired charm. A lot of these little snowflake prongs have broken off in some people's and it's kind of a pendant, I believe as well. And then at the back there is just that little bit of detail. This one here is retired. It's called Orbit. You've got the row of CZs running all the way through and around and again that sparkly blue enamel. I've got the blue pave um, spacers on either side of my heart melter. Look at the expression like he's so derpy. I just love him. And then on the back these are all hand painted so each of these are a little bit different. There's another little expression there so and then of course he's got his little feet or yeah I guess feet. <laughs> So then we come to another one of the petite facets. This one is just the light blue. And then this little dangle here. So Pandora released it and retired this one really quickly. It's the Crescent Moon. It's a good size. And I thought the size complemented the snowflake here. And uh, yeah, this one I was very fortunate because it sold out really quickly in last year's winter sale. And then Pandora restocked in January. So I managed to snag one. This here is one of the rock star clips and just that shiny silver. Um, here is another oldie that's really pretty and it's called Intertwining Radiance and it's in the clear. So they also did a purple version 
And then you've got that beaded silver on top of the clear facets. And this one you can put into so many different designs. It just kind of is like a chameleon that way. Another one of these Star Muranos. This one looks like it's fuzz free. <laughs> then we come to the Winter, Heart of Winter Dangle. It's very pretty and I'm sure there's an inscription here. And the inscription says, you melt my heart. And then another of my second of the polished snowflake. And this last charm on the bracelet, I believe is still available with Pandora. It's called Blue Galaxy. You've got the crisscross lines, and I think that's supposed to represent the cosmos on top of the blue. It's faceted in the center there. So very pretty charm. It's kind of chunky too, because like compare this charm next to the Murano. So this bracelet here is really sweet and dear, and I haven't taken it apart. It was intended to be a temporary design, but I am still really enjoying it. And here's the bracelet on the wrist. So this is an older bracelet. It is a lot more relaxed. As you can see, it's also a 7.5 size or 19 centimeter, and I can fit like comfortably three fingers underneath, and it's starting to drape down my wrist like I do prefer. And I can't wait for that first bracelet to get as relaxed as this one. But that's how this one looks on the wrist and it's really comfortable to wear. This final bracelet design is my snowman bracelet. And this one is a permanent design, but it does get a little bit of tweaks along the way. And let me share these charms with you. So again, I'm using the standard barrel clasp, 19 centimeter, 7.5. And the first term is the Vintage Night Sky. It's an open work, so it covers the threads at the end. You've got the blue CZ stars and the moon, and then the cutouts on the side, and it repeats on both sides. And then we come to a spacer. So spacers are so useful for filling in the gaps and giving a little bit of texture in between charms. It's, this one is a long retired silver tire spacer. And then the first snowman is the white happy snowman. So it's a little bit of a creamy enamel white. He's got a smile on his face in silver, a red scarf, a little jaunty hat, and nothing on the back. These Muranos are outstanding and they're the starry night sky Murano. Um, I usually put my least favorite towards the back of the bracelet. So you're seeing my least favorites first. You've got the white stars with the CZ in the center on a sparkly blue background. This one is a little bit more petite Murano compared to some of my others. And then I've got a black star dangle with the black CZs. This is the 2015 charm. Um, you've got the touch of 14 karat gold snowflake on the top and then cutouts for the tree and the snowman. And I believe it's repeating on both sides. This is the original Pandora snowman. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I love the original charms. There's something so, I don't know, vintage, right, about them. Uh, so he's got oxidized details for his mouth and his eyes, a little scarf and hat. These clips are retired. I am starting to gravitate more towards the round clip shape. These I believe are called um, Twinkling Night Clip and it's got the stars and the moon and then it repeats on both sides. And then next we have a pendant. It's the star pendant. It's got the cutout in the center with the CZs and then the back is just the plain. Another one of these Muranos. I believe I have four of them on this bracelet. These are my favorite of these Muranos. So it's a little bit bigger of a size, a little bit more sparkle to the background. Now the center of the bracelet. Um, I do have a lot of stars in the center of this bracelet. I'm kind of hoping that maybe they'll come out with more snowmen. And this one though is amazing. This charm is so gorgeous. Look at all the different colors that Pandora used. It's called the Bright Star. And yeah, it lives up to its name because you have the CZs on the side, repeats on both sides. And I love that they put that little touch of a milky, I don't know, the words escaping me right now, but that looks so pretty. Just all the contrast there. This is the new dangle from this year's winter collection, the blue Murano star dangle and you've got the sparkle blue glass there and it really looks pretty with these Muranos here. 
it's kind of got a little bit of a purple purple sparkle to it and the bale is so pretty on this one and then the back because it's a Murano glass um, you see how they use stars on the back and silver and then you do still have a little bit of that sparkle that shines through this here is one of Pandora's first um, CZ stars. They did come out with the asymmetrical one that's 50% off. Another one of the Muranos. So as you can see, the center of the bracelet, it does look like the stars, like the edges of the stars are making the dangle hang a little bit askew or crooked. Uh, but when I'm wearing the bracelet, that doesn't happen. It, it does hang centered, so I'm leaving it but there's something about it that bothers me a little bit, but I just still think that's such a pretty combination. So as you can see, I've got the three stars in the center of this bracelet. I offset the bright star over here with the bright star dangle, and then the clear stars, and then the middle is the dark blue. Another one of these clips, and this one here is such a sweet charm. This one is called Snowy Wonderland, and you've got the enamel. It's a lot of enamel on this charm, but the moon, is that a moon? Probably. Uh, moon and stars are in silver, so is the snowman. Uh, but then you do have the night sky and the snow and the trees, the star cutouts, and it repeats on both sides, which is really nice that they didn't make it plain silver with an inscription. I like when the um, picture repeats on both sides. This Murano here is actually, I think, the smallest of all of them. You can see the size difference between these two, not too much. Another one of the black star dangles, and then I believe this is the second snowman that Pandora came out with. This one has the CZ detail on the scarf and the hat, and then the back is smooth. Um, another one of the tire spacers. And this is a damaged clip, and I don't know why I keep using it, but I do for some reason. Um, you can see it's supposed to be a beaded detail with CZs, but it looks like it was put into a tumbler to be cleaned, and that's what happened. And this bracelet feels amazing to wear. It is so comfortable. It just feels right. Sometimes you put a bracelet on after you design it, and it just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel comfortable, or there's something off about it, but this one feels right uh, so it's nice and relaxed as well and yeah with four Muranos on here and uh, sorry it's it's so hard to give you a proper look of how a bracelet looks while you're wearing it um, lots of star dangles as you can tell and it's it's one of my favorites so this is a permanent design as well Thank you for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this video and seeing my winter bracelet designs. Leave me a comment below. Let me know which one is your favorite that I shared with you. Thanks again for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.